Good morning, Nana here. And today I'm going to explain you about the fields which trigger a revision change in EBS R12. I'll go and share my screen now. So if you go and see in R12, <clears throat> uh, whenever you make a change on any of these fields, like what happens, a buyer is changed in standard or a planned or a blanket or a contract or release, the revision number increments. Similarly, on the contact, confirm, ship to, bill to, etc., etc. Not all the fields are what happens are going to trigger a revision change as far as EBIS R12 is concerned. Go there, and then you can see there is a list of builders, and then in which document they will not trigger a revision change. This is the header level, and then afterwards you go down, and then you can now see at the line levels. At the line levels, these fields will now trigger a revision change. <clears throat> so uh, the revision changes are basically a component only for certain fields and not on every field. And this is not a real uh, good one because what happens is we'll not be able to understand about why we have changed uh, the other fields as such. This has been rectified in Fusion actually. So these are the price breaks, these are all the shipments, these are all the distribution. Whereas in Fusion, it is not so. Fine. Now, whenever you go there in Fusion, what happens is I'm not going to open up a document. Now. Fine. This is already an open document. And then I select it, and then what happens is I go to Actions, and then I go to Edit Document. So the moment I go for Edit Document, so the document will automatically undergo a change order. Now. Fine. A change order is not underway. So it is irrespective of whatever you do. So what happens is the document will undergo a change order. The change order is equivalent to a revision in Fusion, actually. So it is a good one. And so what happens, we will not understand. And then what happens, we can even write a reason for why you are gone for a change order. So the change order reasoning can also be documented. So later on, what happens, we can very well make a track of why we have made a change. Whereas in EBIS R12, it is not so. So only certain fields will undergo a change of revision. And when you make the changes on the other ones, what happens, it will not be even be visible as such. Here, I'll now say enhancement of amount agreed. Agreed. So this way, what happens, you're doing it now. And then what happens, you save and then you submit it. Fine. The change order one will be submitted for approval, actually. I click on it. And then I'm going to submit for approval. I click on submit. So the change order one for this particular document, 2015, will be submitted for. The change order one has been submitted for approval. And then later on, when you take a report, what happens, we can even take on the based upon the change order numbers. And then that will be giving you a consolidated view of this now. Fine. So this explains this revision change now. Once again. And in EBIS, we have one extra feature as far as the revision is concerned. Uh, just like in uh, Fusion, we are now having a description for the change orders. Here, what happens, we can even see which field has got changed. That can be seen in EBIS, actually. So if you go there, let me open up one of the revision, one of the documents. 6777, I'm opening it up. And let me open it up. So this is having a revision number zero. So here, what happens, I'm going to make a change of the quantity from 100 to 102. Fine. The price from 1 to 1.3. And then the leave date, the promise date, I'm not making a change, you know, I to go there, 19 to 21, <clears throat> and then go there. And then further, what happens, you make a change, you know, it was 19, and then afterwards, what happens, uh, we are not making much of a change, you know, fine, go there. <clears throat> uh, click on commit, now. until it's commit, the document will not require the reapproval, and go there, click it, and then click on approve it now. So 6777 has been reapproved now. Now we can now see the revision changes. Which field has caused the revision? We can very well see 6777 one. So close it and then come over here. And then you go to the, what's called <clears throat> your uh, purchase orders. And then there you will have a PO change history. So here, what happens? You go there, query it. So it's a web enabled farm. So what happens? It will be coming here. What happens? You can now make a query. The operating unit is vision operations. V percentage OPE. <clears throat> and then you tap. So the, the PO number is 6777, and then go there, and then click on go. It will now show you all the changes which have been made on the PO now. Fine. That is an excellent link right here, it is now coming. So in this place, what I'm going to do is, <coughs> I will now go there. And then compare to original PO is the document, fine. Click on it now, fine, on the 6777. If you compare to original PO, it will now show you all the things which have been changed now. Fine. So it is now showing you uh, what are the fields which have been changed, fine. The quantity, the amount has been changed from this thing. The quantity has been changed from this to this. The unit price. And then what happens, the same thing is not getting repeated actually. So this is an excellent enhancement. And this sort of a facility is not available in uh, Fusion as such. No? But Fusion will be having a change order. The change order will now teach you, tell you about uh, why you have changed the order as such. Fine. That you can make it as a descriptive form, you can write it. Fine. There's a change. Fine. This is what how the comparison goes as far as revision changes in uh, EBUS as well as your, uh, <coughs> what's called your change orders in Fusion. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.